Hey guys, happy Sunday. I know it's been a really, really long time. I've got a lot to talk about today, though. My last entry was right before Takinocon, if I remember correctly. Uh, so I'll say how that went. It was awesome. Uh, it was great seeing everybody and running my panel, and I can't wait for Fan Expo coming up in less than a month. Uh, and as of yesterday, I can confirm that I do have the day off, or the time off for that. My Star-Lord and Question cosplays turned out well, and um, I have some decent photos. After TakinoCon, I successfully moved out of my parents' house, uh, which I'm sure you all know about by now. Um, but if not, I've got a new sort of backdrop. Um, I've got a decent bedroom, and we've got a decent amount of space uh, for the rest of the apartment, so uh, me and my roommate, Daryl, uh, are quite happy with it. The previous weeks have been kind of killer, though. Um, I had a 50-hour work week about a week ago, uh, there, because there was a fishing and hunting show, I think, if it was last, it wasn't last weekend, it was the weekend before at the Tradex. Since then, uh, there's been Nicole's birthday party that I missed. Yeah. Never driving out to Vancouver without a map, or a navigator, again, ever. Then we had our friend Pedro over for the weekend, which was really awesome, and my old friend Josh from elementary school stopped by and visited, and uh, I'm pretty sure it was the week before um, that uh, Lauren was also over for the weekend, so uh, that was really awesome. Basically, you guys should come visit. All of you. I'm pretty sure I'm going to just disregard um, most of the previous challenges that I may have missed because it's been so long and I don't really remember them all. Uh, if you do have a challenge that I missed that you really wanted me to do, message me in the comments below and or just message me on Facebook in general, and I will try to do it next week. But I did see Eric's challenge about our favorite Nintendo 64 games. Um, I got my Nintendo 64 when I was seven years old, actually. Um, I My parents gave it to me as kind of a reward for learning how to ride a bike. Kind of a weird trade-off, but uh, that was just one thing that they really wanted me to do in exchange for getting me a video game console. They really wanted me to uh, learn how to ride a bike, both me and my sister, and I think it was a pretty good deal for me because um, since then I've, I've ridden my bike quite a bit in the summers um, after. The first game that I got for the system would be Wave Race 64, which isn't bad, but I can't really recommend for anybody. If you like racing games um, for the N64, um, Diddy Kong Racing, Mario Kart 64, and F-Zero are all way better. Ocarina of Time soon followed, and um, like that's an obvious choice. Ocarina of Time is great, and I'm glad to hear that you're playing through it, Eric. Um, but as far as other games on the system go, I really love Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Mario Party 2, Kirby and the Crystal Shards, um, yeah, those are all great games. My question for you this week, though, is what is your favorite guilty pleasure snack? I don't mean, uh, what is your favorite snack in general, I mean, what is your favorite thing to eat that makes you feel fat and disgusting on the inside, but you eat it anyway because it's so good. I have a few, poutine being one of them, although I guess that isn't really much of a snack, but it does make me feel gross and disgusting and feel, or taste delicious at the same time, but um, today, since I just got back from doing grocery shopping and I happened to buy fruit roll-ups and Rice Krispie squares, I present to you this. 
My cousins refer to this as a clown turd. Mmm. That's really good. Anyways, nerds, that's been this Sunday. I am glad to be back, and I'll try not to go anywhere anytime soon. So, I'll see you guys next week. Hopefully.